Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Anna. I'm here today to update my seven months, no, my seven pants in seven months project, which I started about a month ago. Um, so basically the idea is that I want to hit pan on seven eyeshadows. I randomly chose seven of my palettes and for the last seven months of 2019, I am tempting to hit pan on all of these seven. So I randomly picked the palettes, but I did choose my own shade, just so that I would get um, shades that I would actually like to use, and also that they would fit nicely together. Uh, so I swatched all of them in my intro video, and yeah, they look nice together. I can pair all of them, and there's a nice variation between matte and shimmery, mostly matte shades. I think I have, yeah, I have two shimmers in here, and the rest are matte. So, let's just hop right into it. Um, the first one I actually hit pan on right after I started. So I already hit pan on it when I made my intro video because I started the project, made the intro video a little bit later, and then, yeah, that's the story. Um, so that's from my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, and it's in the shade... That's the brush. So it has plastic on it. Who else? Just not, I never use this. I don't even know I have it in the palette. I could just take it out. Uh, it's in the shade Chaser. I have, let's see if I can make this focus. This is my little pan. I had quite a lot of pan when I started and I just, I haven't focused on this palette that much. So I've only expanded the pan just a slight bit. Um, but it's kind of, it's really thin on most of the shadow, like on this top part. So I should be able to make a lot more progress on this if I just use this palette a little bit more. And then it would be nice to have a really good piece of pan on that one. Uh, and then for the ones that I didn't hit pan on this month, um, the first one, which is not surprising, this is a hard shade to hit pan on. It's from the MAC Sharon Osborne Duchess Quad. Um, and the shade is Sweet Ice. So it's this top one here. And I'm not sure, I don't think you'll be able to see the dip I have in this, which is actually starting to get, well, no, not really. It's just a little bit of a dip. <laughs> uh, but I use this every single day as my inner corner highlight. I also use this quite often as a cheek highlight and over like the cupid's bow and all other places where I feel like I want a little bit more highlight um, and it's really nice I just think that I might need the full seven months to actually hit pen on this at least a few more months so we'll see about that one I'm continuing to use it pretty much every day so it should, it should have pretty steady progress uh, and then for my other shimmery shade, this is the Makeup Geek and Many Many MUA palette. It's the shade Luna. Uh, and this one also has a really nice dip. I've been using this as an all over the lid shade. Uh, and the dip is getting bigger. I've hit pan on Makeup Geek eyeshadows before. Uh, and the, even though the pans are pretty deep, uh, shades like this because this is really soft. Uh, it's nice to apply it with the finger and then I can kind of really dig in there. If I continue to use this as a lid shade quite often, I should be able to hit pan on this in maybe another month. Maybe two, depending on how much I use it. Uh, but that's the Makeup Geek one. And then I have some matte eyeshadows. And one of them uh, I'll admit I was a little bit, someone actually commented this as well, <laughs> that these are pretty um, deep pens. It's the uh, Colourpop Dream Street palette uh, and the shade that I want to hit pan on is Magical, which is a nice kind of light orange shade. It's this one. Um, it's a really nice shade. You can't really tell that I've been using this and I've been using it so much um, and it's just still looking 
kind of brand new, which is a little bit depressing. But I'm just going to continue using this all over I, in my crease. I just use it as a transition shade. I'm tempted to try using it as a like one and done. Just put, put it all over my lids and into my crease and just see how that looks. Maybe top it with some glitter. I need to find some way to use that a lot more because it's an impossible shade to pan on, I think. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to try. <laughs> Um, and then I have one which is really close. Uh, this is the Super Mom shade from my Tartlet palette from Tarte. This is super reflective, so it's kind of hard to. It's this shade. Uh, and is it possible to show the dip? Maybe not. Hmm. It's a big dip. I am thinking I'm gonna hit pan on this. At least by next month. I was thinking I might actually pan on it today, but the pens are kind of deep, so there is a little more left. But I use this every single day under my brows as a transition shade thing, and just I use quite a lot of it every day, so it shouldn't be a big problem to pan on that one soon. And also, this palette is I'm ready to throw this out actually. Uh, I've Loved it, but there are just a few shades that I like in here, uh, and I have so many other mattes that when I hit pen on this, at least by the end of the year when this project is done, this is gonna be decluttered because it's really old. So that's that one, and then for my sixth one, I have my Urban Decay Born to Run palette, and I was kind of happy to choose this palette. Uh, like randomly pick it, uh, but also it's one of my absolute newest ones, so there's not a lot of dips in here. Maybe the biggest one is in Blaze, which is one of the shimmery shades. I don't know why I didn't pick that one, but I chose the um, kind of matte corally shade, which is called Still Shot, and this is, I think, maybe one of my favorite eyeshadows from this palette. It's just really nice. As a summary, just blow it out in the crease and then use whatever on the lid. I really like this one with Blaze or Stranded uh, on the lid. But it's just not happening a lot to this eyeshadow. I can kind of see that it's used a little bit. But it's still no dip and no really no signs of me hitting pan anytime soon. And this is the perfect time of year to do it, so I feel like I should be using that one a lot more. So we'll see, maybe I'll bring it with me when I go on vacation uh, to my parents' house, and then we'll see how much I can like, just really try to focus on it. And I haven't tried using it as a blush yet, but I'm gonna start trying that, because that might be a nice way to kind of really get through it a lot quicker. Um, and then for the one pen that I hit this month, and, and it actually happened today. I did a pink look with a little bit of glitter. I've been using this shade so much for the last couple of days. Yesterday I had it as a like one and done all over the lid shade. Um, and today I had a little bit of baby pen when I used it. So it's the Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions palette. Looks like this. And the camera is, yeah, it's showing a little bit. It's a small white dot. That's the pen. <laughs> now, this is really exciting. Um, I'm going to put this away for a little bit. I'm kind of tired of this eyeshadow palette. Um, I've been using it so much, so I'm just going to leave this alone for a little bit, and then I'll put, uh, take it back out when fall arrives, and I like a little more pinks. So now I'm gonna dive into the more corally pinks, a little more brown, just more bronzy looks maybe. And then hopefully by August, end of August, I'm gonna be able to hit pan on some more shades, at least one more, and then some dips would be nice. Um, 
and then I will see you in that update. But before that, I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!